Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today I am filming my brow routine. I don't have my Snapchat before and obviously it's only there for a day and I'm constantly getting asked about it so I thought I'd do it on here. A little disclaimer before we start, every single person on this planet will do their brows differently. Brows are always 50-50-50% 50% of people love my brows, 50% of people hate my brows. If you don't like my brows, don't watch this video. You don't have to do your brows this way. Do you like my brows? Hello! Welcome to my channel. Let's get started. Honestly, how scaldy do I look without eyebrows? I always do my brows last, well, not last, after I do my foundation. The reason for this is I used to do my brows first before my skin and what I found was because it was the only thing I was looking at, I was paying far too much attention to it. It was taking me like 15 minutes to do my brows whereas now it only takes me five. I also find whenever I've done it with no foundation on that my brows come out a lot harsher. It's because the brow gel is sticking to the skin so um, it's not mixing with your foundation which I actually like because then they don't come out as harsh and as ewy. So starting off I'm just going to brush through my brows with a little spoolie. I'm just kind of brushing them upwards. I don't get my brows done either. I literally just tweeze the few stray hairs. My brows, this is literally how they are. Like they don't really get much thicker, unfortunately. I have to fake it till I make it. Just brushing through the brows to get rid of any powder or foundation that might've got all clogged up and done. Brushing them upwards, just because whenever I apply the gel, I want the gel to really get in there. On my brows then I mix two brow gels because I am just extra like that. I have them both mixed into this little pot. So I mix number 12 brow gel and number 16 brow gel from Inglot. If you're blonde or pink or whatever you want a cool toned taupey brow shade these are the best. Number 12 is gorgeous. It's what I would normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis but for whenever I'm going out it's a bit too light just because obviously I wear more tan then I literally look like I bleach my eyebrows and that's not really the look I'm going for. So yeah, 12 is great for everyday wear but whenever I do want to darken them I apply number 16. 16 is like 12, a more taupey brown but it's still not too dark like you could wear 16 all by itself and it would look great. What I have done then, I've just mixed 12 and 16 into this little pot. Inglot brow gels are only 16 euros each. They're waterproof, smudge proof, they literally won't come off. You can use them in your waterline as well or like obviously as liner. Maybe not these colours but like you can get dark browns. 16 actually is a really nice brown liner so there you go. Multi-purpose. The brush I'm going to use for this is just an angle brush. This is the Inglot 17 TL. So we have 31T which is a synthetic hair brush but I personally prefer the real hair brush. The non-synthetic non non hair brush. It doesn't apply the product as harshly as what the synthetic brush would. Again I don't like really blocky brows so I find these are obviously amazing. You can get a really blocky brow if you want that. If you're all about that light you can get a real natural brow. But if you want to get it even more natural what I do is I take Inglot's product Duraline. So this guy you can use with your any gel products you have to stick down pigments. You've seen me using it loads in my videos to clean up wing liner. Loads of things. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to take a drop of this. Pop it onto the lid of the brow gel and then I just take the brow gel and just mix it with the Duraline. So what this does is it dilutes down the brow gel so that it's not really harsh and it's going to come out a little bit lighter. So what effect this is going to give me is it's going to make it look like I have a powder brow but it's waterproof and smudge proof so it's going to last so much longer than what a powder brow would and it's not going to take me as long to build it up. I just whistled through my teeth, that is a talent. Okay. So starting off then, what I do is I literally just draw a line underneath my brow. That's just what I do first. I don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason for it. It's just what I do. So I draw this little line and then I build up the tail end. So the tail end is where it's going to be. What am I saying? The tail end is what's going to be most defined. It's going to be where it's darkest. So you want to apply most of your product there and then we use whatever's left just to fluff up through the front. Building it up through the tail end of my brow. Now I like to extend my brow slightly. I've got really short ass brows though. So. Need a 
Laving them up a little bit. So the only part I really overdraw on my brow is the arch. What I do is I take a little bit more product and I just slightly push up the arch that little bit more. I'm also following the way in which the brow hairs grow. So say like the brows are growing down this way. So I'm pulling my brush this way. I'm not dragging my brush upwards or downwards even. I'm just following the way the brows grow. Now if you go a little bit crazy with the product it's fine because you can just brush through it and it won't be as harsh. So what I do as well then is I follow that line again and then I just flick the product up. So I'm just using whatever's left on my brush now. Just flicking it upwards. So the brow gels are great for someone who has barely any hair. You can create little brush strokes with it as well by turning your brush around and flicking it upwards. They're honestly one of my favourite products of all time. Not just from Inglot, just all time. For anyone who doesn't know about them, they are very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip brow pomade, but these ones are actually better. These ones are actually more long lasting, so they are. So one of my friends, she used to use the Anastasia ones, as she said that she found that they come off during the day, whereas the Inglot ones don't. So go Inglot. So again, starting at the little line of the brow, back to the tail. The whole time I'm only using the tiniest amount of product as well and mixing a drop of gel line with it. Get it too far down, don't worry, because we could just clean it up with a little bit of concealer. The reason also that I like to do my brows last and not first is because I find if you do them first, you have to go around them with concealer and I don't like that big like white and white on top. I don't like it, it's just not for me, so I prefer to do the brows last. Do you know what it is? Everything else about me is so over the top and dramatic. I'm like, I need something that's a little bit toned down. So again, just pushing up the arch slightly. I only ever really do it like two or three millimeters above my brow if you want to get technical about it. The reason why I like the jaw line as well is because it's diluting down the gel liner, it's not gonna clump my hairs together. I love in a brow where you can see each individual hair. I love it to look hairy still. So I find by diluting down the gel it doesn't clump them together and it just it kind of just stains your skin underneath. Whereas a brow gel by itself kind of clings to your hairs. That makes sense? You're looking alright. I'm happy enough. Am I finished? No, I'm not. Something that has changed the brow game for me completely is a little brow mascara. So this is number 01 from Inglot. Again, these are 16 euros. The reason why I like it is because it has such a small little spoolie. You can literally just pick out the hairs and also they're tinted. So again, it kind of grabs each individual brow hair, makes them stand out. So what I do with this then is starting at the front, I brush the hairs upwards because I like it to be quite hairy at the front. I find these brow gel, these brow mascaras actually hold the hair very well too. I don't really like follow the way that I'm supposed to brush them with this I guess. I brush them upwards because I want a bushier looking effect. I don't know if you can see that but like so. And my hand looks orange. Orange. Guys this is the fake tan life. Like honestly there's nothing I can do about it. Yes my hands are orange. Let's just move on. If I do get a little bit of product over where I don't want it, I just throw it rub it with my finger. I don't want to go in with a concealer brush. Like I said, I do not like that big concealer lines. And kapow! We've got fluffy brows. Now, there's just one more step to this. I don't go around the whole brow with concealer. Like I said, I don't like that whole blockiness. But what I will do is I'll take a little bit of Inglot's Under Eye Corrective Illuminator Concealer. So this one's very light. It's not full coverage at all. The reason why I like this is it just makes the line underneath just a little bit sharper. makes them look a little bit more defined. Like I said, it's not heavy in coverage at all. So it's not going to give me a real ewy blocky brow. It has a little brush at the bottom so it makes it a little bit easier as well. I don't have to go finding a brush. What I do with this is I literally just do this underneath. So again it just kind of highlights the brow slightly without being too much and cleans up any errors. 
that we may or may not have made. Who knows? Because we're using this to clean it up. Again, just going in with the tiniest amount. If you want then, just pick up a little bit of whatever is left on your blending brush and just blend the very edges of your eyeshadow just to make sure that there's no like harsh lines in between. Because that can happen if you use too much concealer. So yeah, there you have it. That is my finished brows. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give a big thumbs up and let me know what you want to see down below. Also, thank you so much for all the support that <laughs> we got on the Boyfriend Does My Makeup video. It was literally insane. Like, it went viral basically on Facebook and it was trending on YouTube here. It was number 13 at one stage. What? <laughs> yeah, that's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. Darren is dying to get on my YouTube again. So we will be seeing a lot more of him, I think. So if you have any ideas of what you want myself and himself to film, then also leave them down below. I'll leave all product details for this look down below. Also, if you want to recreate this craziness, which I would not recommend because it took me far too long. Follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. All of that is... Kaylee MUA shock. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Ciao.